We who have pledged to defend our Constitution against all enemies, we pray your hedge of protection around this nation. Defend us from those adversaries, both foreign and domestic, outside these walls and perhaps within these chambers, who sow seeds of acrimony to divide colleagues and conspire to undermine trust in your divine authority over all things. The journey of this experiment in democracy is perilous and demanding, fraught with anger and discontent. But wise rulers still seek you. And that's how Congress started its legislative day on January 6, 2021, a noon prayer from House Chaplain Margaret Kibben, a prayer that warned of potential domestic adversaries wanting to sow seeds of acrimony within the House chamber. Remarkable foresight, perhaps divinely inspired, for what would happen later that day, January 6. And the first in a series of prayers that continued over the following days using language rarely heard from the House and Senate chaplains. We'll relive the events of January 6, 2021 through the words of Congress prayers after this. On January 6, 2021, House Chaplain Margaret Kibben was only a few days into the job. The first female House Chaplain, she replaced Father Patrick Conroy at the beginning of 2021. Among their official duties ministering to representatives and senators, chaplains in Congress open each session in prayer. Congress prays even before they say the Pledge of Allegiance. Chaplain Kibben's first prayer in the House was on January 4, a brand new chaplain marking a brand new Congress. Would you pray with me? Gracious and almighty God, in recent days, so many voices across our nation and within this House have prayed for peace and unity. In answer to our pleas, speak your love into the hearts of each member, that the deliberations of this 117th Congress would bring amity with our compatriots and hope to America. As we heard at the beginning, on January 6 at 12 p.m., Chaplain Kibben warned against what could happen, and as we know now, did happen, in the House chamber. And on the Senate side on January 6 at 12.30 p.m., 30 minutes after Chaplain Kibben, that chamber's chaplain, Dr. Barry Black, also seemed to sense the dark history about to unfold in his opening prayer. As our lawmakers prepare to formally certify the votes cast by the Electoral College, be present with them. Guide our legislators with your wisdom and truth as they seek to meet the requirements of the United States Constitution. Lord, inspire them to seize this opportunity to demonstrate to the nation and world how the democratic process can be done properly and in an orderly manner. Help them to remember that history is a faithful stenographer, and so are you. Very early the next morning, Senate Chaplain Barry Black prayed again, this time in the House chamber. That's where electoral votes in the presidential election were counted. It was right after Joe Biden's victory was certified by lawmakers and just hours after the violent riot in the Capitol which means he had little time to work on the prayer. Here's Chaplain Black at 3.41 in the morning, January 7, introduced by Vice President Mike Pence. The chair now recognizes for the purpose of closing prayer the 62nd chaplain of the United States Senate, Chaplain Barry C. Black. Let us pray. Lord of our lives and sovereign, of our beloved nation. We deplore the desecration of the United States Capitol building, the shedding of innocent blood, the loss of life, and the quagmire of dysfunction that threaten our democracy. These tragedies have reminded us that words matter and that the power of life and death 
is in the tongue. We have been warned that eternal vigilance continues to be freedom's price. Lord, you have helped us remember that we need to see in each other a common humanity that reflects your image. You have strengthened our resolve to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, domestic as well as foreign. Use us to bring healing and unity to our hurting and divided nation and world. The House next met on January 11th, five days after the attack. Chaplain Kibben began that session with these words. Would you pray with me? Merciful God, we enter these chambers with a sense both of uncertainty and of indignation. The events of last week, the destruction, the damage, and the deaths of our fellow Americans are deeply disturbing. The seeds of discontent were sown across our country and we have reaped the whirlwind. Almighty God, speak into this storm. Allow your Holy Spirit to descend upon the chaos and minister to our hearts. Still our fears that we would remain firm in our resolve. Still our anger that we would yield ourselves to your gracious design for this nation. In Chaplain Kibben's next prayer opening the House on January 13, one week after the attack, a direct mention of the mob. God, our judge, nothing is hidden from your sight. Thus, we stand before you to give account for our role in today's momentous decisions and our deepest desire to carry out our responsibilities to govern, protect, and preserve this nation while yet unsettled by the events of this past week. We find ourselves seizing the scales of justice from the jaws of mobocracy. Almighty God, wield your sword and penetrate the confusion and discontent of our country. Lay bare our attitudes of vengeance that you would show us how to serve as instruments of your pure judgment and peace. After January 6, the Senate didn't have another legislative session until January 19th. So, no opening prayers in that chamber for nearly two weeks. When the Senate returned on January 19, Chaplain Black moved on to the next big topic, which was, the next day, a new president. Let us pray. Eternal God, ruler of all nations. As the inauguration of President-elect Joseph Biden approaches, bless and heal America. Bless this land of amber waves of grain with the righteousness that exalts nations. Heal this land of curvaceous mountains by removing from it sins that bring reproach to any people. Finally, a bonus clip. On February 9th, 2021, in the aftermath of the January 6th Capitol riot, the impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump began. Impeachment trials are conducted in the Senate, In his prayer opening that February 9th Senate session, day one of Donald Trump's second impeachment trial, Chaplain Black began with a poem. Eternal God, author of liberty, take control of this impeachment trial. Lord, permit the words of the New England poet James Russell Lowell to provide our Senate jurors with just one perspective. Lowell wrote, once to every man and nation comes the moment 
to decide. In the strife of truth with falsehood for the good or evil side. That's it for this episode of C-SPAN's The Weekly. A reminder that you could do your own searches in the C-SPAN video library. Find more prayers from the House and Senate chaplains, or remember other moments in Congress following the events of January 6, 2021. Just go to cspan.org and use the search bar on top, all for free. Thanks for listening, and happy searching. Thank you.